Hi guys, welcome back to the Big Sew Along and happy Friday sews. Um, it is now almost 1 p.m. on Friday and I'm finally getting around to doing my video, which I was really gonna do yesterday, but there's a ton of other stuff was happening, so that didn't happen. Um, but anyways, I'm finally getting to it now. Um, and I am gonna announce uh, who, who got which fabrics from our fabric giveaway from last Saturday. But I'm gonna make a way to the end of the video for that. <laughs> so, you know, just sit through all of my other uh, conversation first. Um, okay, so, <coughs> first thing that is not sewing but kind of sewing related is um, now that I've got my sewing room completely set up, or more or less set up, um, I was gonna, you probably could see like the floors and stuff in my video from last week. And I was originally gonna just leave these walls this like beigey off-white color and not mess with them and leave these rugs that I have. And then I just decided, actually my husband came down here one day, he never comes to my sewing room, came down here one day and he was like, Ginny, this room looks awful. You need to do something on these walls. And those rugs are terrible. I, you don't want to spend all day down there like that. And I was like, you know what, you're right, I don't. I spend a lot of time in my sewing room. So, now that I have these monster shelves up and they are completely stocked and I have my bookshelf set up <laughs> and my cutting table set up, I'm gonna have to take it all down because I'm gonna um, paint my walls and I ordered some, uh, not not carpeting, but rug tiles from floor. Um, we had those in our basement at our old, old house like a couple of houses ago. And those worked really well um, until we had a flood and then nothing worked well. Um, so I ordered those and um, I'm gonna go get some paint probably this weekend. This uh, upcoming week, not this upcoming week, July 4th is obviously in the US, you already know this, um, national holiday here. So I am not working that week. My husband works at a museum that has like huge events uh, for the 4th of July. So he has to work all week, which means that I'll be home alone and I will have plenty of time to paint and redecorate my room. And I'm really super excited to do that. I have this piece of uh, Japanese, uh, vintage Japanese silk kimono fabric. And this is the inspiration for my room decor. I don't know if it'll be exactly these colors, but it'll be something like this. I ordered the red floor tiles, and this, this actually looks more orange to me. I don't know if it looks like that on the camera, but the the tiles I got, I, I don't know how close to that they're gonna be. They're gonna be red. And the walls are gonna be pink, and the accents are going to be white. Um, yeah. So I'm super excited about that. Um, oh, and I bought a bookshelf. I bought another bookshelf last weekend um, at like a secondhand place. It's one of those really <laughs> cheap, like it probably came from Zare, if any of you guys remember Zare. It was like a competitor of Kmart way back in the day. Um, I don't know why I think it came from Zare. It came from someplace like that. Um, it's uh, three shelves, and the shelves are like particle board wood or something like that. The poles that <laughs> hold them all together are really elaborate, like carved looking poles, but they're totally plastic, which kind of cracks me up because like the plastic pole thing. Anyways, I uh, it's, it's like a gross like faux wood finish on it right now. I'm gonna paint that and then I think I have a, a, I think I have a space over on the side of the room for that. And um, my friend Marsha got a new mirror for her dressing room the other day, so she's giving me her freestanding mirror, which I love, although I may need to paint them as well, we'll see. Um, yeah, so I have a ton of house projects to get done, uh, but most of them are actually here in the sewing room, so it's kind of, kind of sewing related. I, uh, speaking of sewing, I did not get my Fremantle pants or my Lily's dress even started this week. Um, what I did start instead was a top from my Nanny Eero um, Atelier book. 
I'll put a picture of it up here so you can see. I can't show you the actual, I mean I can show you the garment. I can't put it on for you yet because it's not finished. You can see I haven't finished the neckline. But I made this, out, I'm sure you guys, some of you guys are familiar with this. I used this really, um, I think it's actually called gauze. It's from fabricstore.com. It's white linen gauze. So this top, I don't know if you can tell from this picture, is essentially two circles with a neckline cut out. Um, and then places left open on the sides for your arms, which means that most of it is actually cut on the bias. Now this gauze fabric is really, you can tell just from looking at it, it's pretty unstable on its own. And this is the bias edge, so like really, really <laughs> unstable on the bias. This is one of the circle edges that I cut. And you can kind of see how it's just really loosely woven and there's no stability there at all. So originally what I was going to do as for the instructions was just to serge the entire perimeter of both pieces and sew them together. However, when you have fabric like this, it's really loose weave and really wobbly and unstable. It's hard to get serging to stay, uh, to, to get a firm grip on that. I did get it to work, uh, but I didn't really like the way it looked. So I ended up folding the seams over to the inside. I hope you're going to be able to see that. And I hand stitched them down with um, some pink embroidery floss. I kind of feel like I should have put that on the outside, but the outside actually looks like, like that. So you can see little teeny pin dots all the way around. Anyways, so... <laughs> The reason that I didn't get to my Fremantle pants or my Lily's top is because this, which I started last Saturday and thought I would finish last Saturday because it's literally no time at all if you're sewing it on a sewing machine. Um, that took me forever because um, I decided to do all the hand sewing around it. I really haven't been doing a lot of uh, hand sewing. I've been, I have been, um, I did one project during the move and then I was, I started on a needlepoint project I'll show you a picture of it right here. Um, I'm making this pillow. There's like a series of them and I think they're really whimsical and cute. So I thought I would like those in my living room. Um, but I've been getting most of my handiwork like uh, satisfaction, I guess, out of that. Um, yeah, so I haven't been doing, I haven't, I had really not planned on doing a um, hand stitching project as well. Anyways, that's all the sewing I got done. Um, so, but this, this is Friday and then uh, like the rest of the day today, I think I get as a sewing day and also pretty much all day tomorrow and Sunday, fingers crossed. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping, I am really, really hoping that I get something else done this week because then I'm going to have to tear my room apart so that I could paint and uh, put my tiles down. So I really would like to get something done before that. Okay. That, enough about me. Um, before I tell you guys who gets which fabric, I wanted to say a particularly, um, a particular thank you. <laughs> particular thank you? Yeah, I guess that's right. To uh, Kuso C, Angela, Maggie, Charlotte, and Wanda. All of them um, contributed to my um, Ko-Fi account last week, which was super, super generous and very sweet. And just so all of you guys know, whoever gets this fabric, please do not think twice about making a contribution to cover the shipping. These ladies very generously covered the shipping for everybody. And um, yeah, so thank you so much, um, ladies. That really, again, it means the world to me. It really does. Um, yeah, that kind of support. I mean, just the support in general is really awesome. Um, also, to everybody else who, uh, you know, Doris, I think, I think it was Doris who said that she um, shared my video with uh, two of her Facebook groups. Um, I know a lot of others of you hit like and subscribe and share me with your friends or just leave comments below. All of that stuff, it really helps me so much. And um, actually, I just love reading the comments, but it really does help me also. So thank you to everybody. 
um, who did those things. A special thank you to everybody for playing along with my fabric giveaway. This has been a lot of fun for me. I'm excited to uh, send these things out. So what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll just go down the list and tell everybody, tell you guys who got what. But um, what I did was I, I just used a random number generator on my phone to figure out who got which one. Anyways, um, I will put the picture up here of the fabric and then, oh, I know what I was going to say. So in order to get these fabrics, I need to get um, addresses. And I think the easiest way to do that is for you guys to message me on Facebook Messenger. Please, when you, or you can do it on Instagram also. But Facebook Messenger is just probably easier for me to keep track of. So either way, it's fine. Um, I'll leave a link to both of those. Uh, I'll leave a link to my Facebook page below and my Instagram account also below so that you can message me in either one of those. Um, be sure, like not everybody's name on YouTube is the same as their actual name. In fact, probably most of them aren't. Um, so when you send me a message, just be sure you tell me your YouTube name so I know which fabric I'm sending to you. Okay, that's it. Let's get on with who gets what. Fabric number one, which is the uh, nylon lycra knit that looks like knitting, goes to Emma White. Uh, fabric number two, which was the pink boucle, like cotton poly blend sort of double knit, goes to Tracy. And I just have to say, there are two Tracys, so I, I don't want there to be any confusion. This is Tracy, T-R-A-C-I-E. Um, and no, uh, no other last name or anything. As, as far as I know, it was just Tracy, T-R-A-C-I-E. Okay, number three, the uh, Richard Tyler black wool with the cobalt purpley blue stripe goes to Donna Wilkening. The black stretch twill with white polka dots goes to Christine Barber. The MarcyTilton.com tattoo print twill uh, goes to uh, goes to Tracy Silver Silveria to Silver S I L V E I R A maybe I spelled that wrong. Anyway, so there are two Tracys and you each got something. Just make sure you know which is which. Because all right, then uh, that was number five. Number six was the uh, black and blue um, embroidered. Uh, stretch mesh and that goes to Connie Smith so again thank you everybody for playing along that was a super super fun for me I really appreciate it I appreciate all your support and all of your help trying to help me um, reach my 2,000 followers subscribers goal I really yeah that was like super fun and like I said um, last week I still have a lot of fabric <laughs> to de-stash so I will do that again. I'll probably do another D-Stash Saturday sometime in July. So keep stay tuned for that. Um, and I think that's it, you guys. I'm really itching to get to my sewing machine today. So I am going to um, go upload this video and cut out some free mantle pants. Until next time, happy sewing. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in.